Dating is rough for everybody, but is being queer an extra hurdle to jump over in the effort to find love? We at Psych2Go say yes. There are many unique problems that those in the LGBT community face during their time on the dating scene. Without further ado, here is a list of eight dating problems the LGBT community faces. Number one, casual racism. A recent study on gay dating preferences shows that 80% of black men, 79% of Asian men, and 75% of South Asian men have all endured racism in their efforts to date. Many people of color also experience fetishization. Black men are messaged in the hopes that they'll be aggressive or masculine. Asian men are often messaged because they might seem cute or submissive. How do women compare? Fairly better, actually. Queer women are less likely to be affected by ethnicity and more open to interracial dating. Number two, fat and femme shaming. The queer community is full of individuals with different body types and gendered energies. This includes some of us who are a little on the skinny side or weigh a few extra pounds or exude some feminine energy. The unfortunate truth is, gay culture does not deem these traits desirable. In our world today, Muscles and manliness win over femininity, which many mistakenly consider subordinate and lesser. Number three, hookup culture. Believe me, when you're looking for a hookup or a friends with benefits type situation, this can be great. This is not to say that there aren't queer people who are searching for a deeper connection, but if you are looking to get to know someone before they stick their hands down your pants, this can be extremely frustrating. It's not easy talking to someone you've just met only for them to ask you about your sexual preferences and what your genitals look like. Number four, not enough fish in the sea. Growing up in an urban cityscape can be the best thing in the world for a queer person looking for options. Whether you're in New York, LA, Tokyo, or London, there is endless opportunity for you to find the person of your dreams. Not in a city packed with people, the odds are less in your favor. It's hard for a queer person in a small town or sparsely populated area to meet potential partners. Don't give up. Dating in a small town does not mean that you're doomed. Number five, are they even into you? Sure, there are some common tells that could give us some insight on whether someone is LGBT, but sometimes the only way to know is to ask, is she into women or not? Can you get a guy to fall in love with you even though he keeps calling you his bro? For the LGBT community, this is a common obstacle. Number six, dating while closeted. Let me preface this point by saying that many people choose to keep their sexual identity a secret for a range of reasons, including the preservation of their personal safety. That being said, it is hard to date while you are still in the closet. It can be mentally and emotionally exhausting to keep the person you love a secret. It can also be just as exhausting for your partner who must help you maintain a double life in order for your relationship to continue. For these reasons, those who date well in the closet may experience relationship strain. Number seven, dating with HIV. HIV is still a huge taboo in the LGBT community today. Modern medicine has come a long way over the past few decades, and HIV is no longer a death sentence. But those who live with HIV-positive statuses are shunned from the dating scene because of this same fear and the misconceptions many of us have of HIV. While it is still important to take safety measures, HIV is an obstacle that can be overcome by couples. It is important to remember that people with HIV are not dirty or deserving of their status in any way and it's totally possible to have a healthy, safe relationship with an HIV-positive individual. Number eight, transphobia. Dating can be rough if you're trans. Trans and non-binary individuals still receive a great deal of harassment in regards to their gender, sex, and appearance. Trans and non-binary people also have the added stress of deciding if and when to disclose their identity to dates and partners. Many trans people who are simply looking to get to know someone often find themselves fetishized. Now keep in mind, the LGBT community is diverse and a few of these problems are directed more to some than they are to others. The first step to solving these problems is awareness. The LGBT community and its supporters have the ability to shed light on these issues so that they can be met with love and acceptance. 
So what do you think? Are there any problems that we've missed? Let us know. Are there any items on this list that you feel need their own videos? We at Psych2Go want to hear from you. Psych2Go has a new section dedicated to LGBT topics. Click on the link below to read more about this list and other LGBT articles created by our new content writer, Alex. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey everybody, I just want to give a personal thank you video for you guys for always supporting Psych2Go and making this all possible for us. Our vision is to make psychology as accessible as possible so that it promotes self-awareness and it helps you guys grow. However, we want to make more content for you guys and would love your support in buying one of these bracelets from our partner, Introvert Palace. Check out the bracelet, it's pretty cool and it even includes Pluto. The link to purchase will all be in the description below and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!